paper or do well, we need to color everything in? I would like, I think it would look awesome if all of it was colored in. Like we still need to finish the blue sky. And I haven't decided yet if I want his tummy clear. It kind of looks like I'm seeing through to it. So I may color that in. Not sure what a tummy color would be. What's a tummy color? Pinkish? Mm -hmm. Like a different color pink? Maybe I'll layer the colors. I'm so curious to find out what you kids are doing for your creatures. What happens if I layer the um, markers? Mm. Maybe if you use a darker one or one that hasn't run out of ink. The kids all know my markers are running out of ink. I will get new markers for next session, don't worry. I just went through all of them and a lot of them are like this one. Trash, trash, that's the trash pile. This one's going in the trash pile too. Oh my. And I kind of wanted to get some more pressure on my pencil and layer some of the colored pencils. Let's see, I'm going to try that yellow over it. I do like that effect. It shows a little bit of that yellow through. I like that. What color combinations are you kids coming up with? I want to be able to see some obvious color layering on your artwork when your parents hopefully send me pictures because I would love to post it on Facebook page. Ooh, it's different when I do yellow with green over than green with yellow over. Here's green with yellow over. And here's yellow with green over. I'm pressing pretty hard. Look at totally different effect. I like that. Okay, and move on and uh, keep coloring on yours, and we'll check in with you in just a minute. I'm continuing, continuing to layer some of these colors to develop the drawing a little bit farther. You remember when we've layered oil pastels? Now, oil pastels, when you layer them, if you remember, you can use your finger or paper towel to help to blend them. But with the colored pencils, works a little bit differently. You just layer, and you can even do more than two layers. I'm wondering, let's see, if I layer, I don't know what this white is gonna do. I'm going kind of in little circles. Miss Barbara. Yes. Should we show your art buddy? Who's my art buddy? You. Oh, definitely. Show my assistant. This is my assistant, Ryan. What are you showing them? Oh, not Ryan. Your my other dog. assistant. That's Chip. He's resting comfortably, ready to gobble up any art supplies that fall on the floor. I thought you meant my daughter, you. Your other assistant. My other assistant. My other daughter, except it's a boy dog. Ooh, maybe we'll do a lesson coming up that will draw our pets. Would you guys like that? That would be fun. So that I was layering. Like that. I was just experimenting layering with some uh, white over my grass colors. I'm going to sharpen. Excuse my noise. And continue to layer some more. Ryan, what colors do you think we should layer uh, over our rabbit? Oh yeah, it's Easter coming up. That's appropriate. Maybe white? Ooh, good idea. Let's get some white, maybe around the eyes. And just a bit of a subtle change. I don't know if you can even see that in the camera. And maybe around, I think I want a little bit of gray around his paws. Ooh, yeah, I like that idea. Except I don't know if I have gray. What have I got here? No, it's a dark brown, which doesn't make gray. I don't think I have black. Oh, look. Gray. Wow. So I'm going to add a little bit of gray. And I'm working in circles rather than straight lines. And that makes, I'll show you here what it's like. I'm working in circles. Can you see that? And if you take that, this is the big version. But if you take it smaller, 
it makes a nice smooth coverage of whatever color you're doing. So I'm going to do that on my bunny paws. I'm going to do them darker towards the edge and then I'm going to lessen the pressure and do it lighter as I come more towards the pink. So you see how it's changing the value? And I'm going to do that on the rest of them too. So darker towards the edge, little ovals, little oval shapes going over each other. And then I'm going to start to lessen the pressure. So I'm doing it very gently, hardly pressing. And if there's any areas I need to go back and even up, in other words, make this part a little bit darker just like the rest, and then I start to lighten it up through here, I'm going to do the same on the other two. So I've added some darker values, some shading on the paws, and I've added a bit of that shading, get a little bit darker down here, on, under the ear. Now the sun is shining down this way, right? So your shading would be on the underside. Remember we've that, done that a little bit in class before. And then I still need to finish, I got a little bit of shading under here. I still need to finish the grass. So I'm just filling in that grass with my different yellow and green color combinations kind of varying it as I go work on a few blades of grass. Now do you have something in your drawing that is a repetition of shapes like I do, like the grass? Are you repeating it, making a pattern? It's just that object of the comb that I used on the grass creates a pattern, doesn't it? Pattern is any shape or line that repeats itself over and over again. And my grass really repeats itself over and over again, doesn't it? Let's see, I'm gonna try yellow first and then green over like I showed you before. You working hard on yours? Super excited to see how yours turn out. Usually I get to see you as you're working on it, and we talk about it, but this is you following my directions, using your imagination, using objects, and then coloring, coloring, coloring. You know, I actually didn't even have to do my grass green. I could have done purple grass. Everyone in my class, Ryan, knows that I encourage them to use their imaginations, and they usually do not have to use realistic colors. Hmm. I'm not so crazy about this part in here that's just very light. I'm going to darken that up a bit. And then I'll take a look at the whole thing and see what we need to do. I think we still need to do a cloud. How's yours looking out there in screen land? The tiny internet. The tiny internet. Okay, let's see. Cloud. I'm going to do some blending with my gray and my white pencils. Now, sun is shining from down here. And that would mean the dark part of the cloud would be underneath. So I am going to give this a bit of value, darker value down here. And down here. Now, if you only have just a regular graphite pencil, just a regular drawing pencil, you could still all do this. Do all these different values, darknesses and lightnesses, with just a pencil. It doesn't have to be in color, so I don't want you to worry about that. It can be just in pencil. 
Now if you're using a regular pencil, you would then become, become a little bit lighter. Don't press as hard with your art tool. And over here, we're going to get a little bit lighter. I'm not pressing as hard. I'm going to work in that circular shape I like to do. So we're getting just a lighter gray. And I'm going to see what my white does when I go over that. I'm blending, blending, blending. Oh yeah. I like the way that's working. I wonder, should I add maybe a little bit of blue? Just a tiny bit of blue. I'm going to see how that looks. I love to experiment. A little bit of blue to the underside of my cloud. That might give it a little bit more of a dramatic look. Miss Barbara. Yes. Can I help? You want to do blue? What do you want to do? Oh, yes. Do something with that grass. What would you like to do? Can you do that and hold the camera at the same time? Yes, I can. You are an expert. A man of many talents. Except you're a girl. A man of many talents. Like how carefully you're doing that, Ryan. Yes. I like it as well. We're almost done with this. in most of it. I'm still working a little bit on the cloud. I've got my white background of the cloud. There's no white pencil on there on the big part, the big boy, white part. Then I put some gray on it and a little bit of blue and then went over it with white. But now I think because I can see the sun is shining on that cloud on this side. Is that I'm why you're putting yellow on I'm it? I'm just putting a little bit of yellow on it because that yellow is reflecting from the sun. The yellow color in the atmosphere so it just got a little bit of yellow in there i'm the artist i get to decide right you're the artist you get to decide on yours hmm i think that might be it oh wait 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 did we forget something we forgot something what did we oh you have to sign your work mrs b that would be me hold it up we go. So I hope that you and your parents will text or email me pictures of your drawing. Even if it's not finished, take a picture anyway. You can finish it during the week. And I look forward to next week's lesson with you. Have a great week.